What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction today. We're hopping into episode number one of season number two of Chuck. Uh, this episode is called Chuck versus the First Date. Um, talking about dates, I mean, we ended where we kind of felt like Chuck and Sarah were on good terms. I think everybody was on good terms. I mean, it, was, it, it didn't feel like a season finale, but it ended with kind of like closure. Uh, so we're hopping in here. Gonna have a good time with the episode as always. If you like what I do here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon if you want the full uncut unedited reaction. You can also get episodes extra early if you want them. If you don't want them, don't worry. The episodes will come here eventually, whenever that is. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say. We're gonna hop right in here. Let's have a good time with the episode. Pretty much here we go. <laughs> now. Who are you? Oh shit! Well, you Is that Michael Clark Duncan? Oh, oh. Holy hell! Last chance. <laughs> Who are you? Chuck. Okay. Now tell me everything, Chuck. Well. The people who are gonna be very, very upset. <laughs> and here they come. Meet Sarah and Casey. They're here to protect me. That's Sarah. She works for the CIA. This kind of feels. This kind of feels like a pilot. I know. No more spies. How's he gonna take it? Like happy? I mean, we know that Casey's life. supposed to kill him, but is he gonna be happy that he doesn't have to? Nice. He smiles. He's happy. You okay, Chuck? Huh? This kind of feels like a pilot, yeah, right? I'm, uh, uh, like the beginning I mean, I, felt like I a pilot. I don't believe it, but but uh, I, I think I'm great. <laughs> You're gonna get your old. Government sucks. Literally, they're like. <laughs> Casey's supposed to kill Chuck. What kind of fucked up shit is that? Um. <laughs> My eyes! Oh, I'm blind! I'm blind! Lock the door, man. Damn. Awkward. <laughs> Should we have told somebody that we told uh, Michael Clark Duncan's character? We're the most important person in the government or whatever. I think that was a bad thing. Oh shit, you got a haircut. Right? Somebody. Yeah, large marred goons that could be anywhere. I don't want them to see this. What the hell? What happened to the Wienerlicious? Now she serves. Oh my damn. What? Oh, that's just not fair. I understand now why we changed it into a yogurt place. I feel Sarah can sell a lot of yogurts. Is that really the guy? What's your backup? How did he blow in his face? I've got the cipher. Go to the second location. A girl like you? You know, you. Does she not? She knows that she's like beyond hot. Like you're she... really gonna make me say it, aren't you? <laughs> you? Wow. Okay. Fine. All right. We'll play it your way. Please. I'm fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you are. Is Casey like dying? Is what he? What you think if you knew we were doing this right now? It would probably kill him. I mean, I think he is dying. Oh my god, there's blood coming out of the... What was that? Hello again, Chuck. And you are? My name is Mr. Colt. And His I need voice you to is so deep. Me. Now, why would we do that, Mr. Cole? Because I assume you find me imposing. Don't worry, be honest. I'm going for imposing. Mission accomplished. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The people that hired me give me the heebie-jeebies. You know, when you put it in context like that, I... I, I Let's go. We'll take care of check. <laughs> so, Casey knows... Somebody order drive through. Casey knew they were going to... Holy shit. Oh, 
this episode started off with a bang. Okay, never mind. Is he fucking doing? Oh, I thought he was gonna be Fight Club. Yeah. Jeff and Lester, though. Why is Anna not in here? <laughs> what a dumbass. Morgan's an idiot. Hello. Oh, here they go. I'm here about the I'm surprised they let him do this. Yeah, they're wrestling over there, so they ain't picking up the phone. Go. Morgan, where's Chuck? So, uh, what what uh, seems to be your computer? Oh, we trace that. Your compound is currently surrounded by 23 infantry troopers, 16 snipers, 7 heavy gunners, 4 demolitions experts, and enough ammunition to orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're outmatched and you're outgunned. Those pea shooters you're holding might as well be sharp sticks and strong language. <laughs> sharp sticks and strong language. For the team surrounding the compound. The whole shebang? The whole shebang. Yes, sir. We have 23 infantry troopers, 16 snipers, 7 heavy gunners, 4 demolitions experts. I should tell you, I got a little impatient. We took out one of the sentries. Don't worry, it was a headshot. He couldn't warn his buddies. It was awesome, man. You should have seen it. His head exploded like a watermelon. Thanks, Morgan. He must have got Fritz. I thought he was in a can. Sadly, that's not One exactly time. how Call of Duty works. Give up. I mean, when you're playing multiplayer, but it's fine. He's either lying or he's crazy. Check everywhere. Don't let anything I'll Grab the cipher him. and haul ass. Is he gonna catch him? With the fakest of catches? Alright, we'll take it. That was a good scream by Sarah. She's about to whoop your ass. You fall, it's touching, really. I love you! Get your pants, Bartowski. Get downstairs. He said, I love you. I don't know if I buy her actually beating him up though. He's like a really strong man. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God, you hear her back cracking? Oh my God. I mean, she clearly was pretending, right? There, ooh, wow. Oh my Jesus, oh God. A lot of bone crunching. Excuse me. <laughs> Whatever's going on here, but uh, Mr. Colt, I, I just wanted you to meet my team. Tell me something. Do you find them imposing? <laughs> you can be honest. I was going for imposing. Don't worry, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Do you have the cipher? Please tell me you have it. Of course I have it. It's me. He doesn't know what that means. A new intersect ready? We're minutes away. Which means your order remains the same. Yeah. Bartowski is to be eliminated. Eliminated in one sense. All through Europe, uh, you know, backpacking, that kind of thing. That sounds awesome. Cool. Remind me to tell you about Amsterdam, my man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lovely city, a lot of canals. <laughs> Great idea, Chuck. Good luck tonight. That's a good really luck. nice hey, top, right? I mean, it looks really Remember good on Everybody, her. pace yourself. It's a marathon. <laughs> oh, my God. He was, he's really about to go get him. Attempt to, at least. What are they doing there? Holy shit. Is everybody in this room gonna die? It's gonna blow up, isn't it? Holy shit, we just killed. Just seeing the world, seeing seeing the world. What the hell? That's good. Just... They're gonna. She's gonna t mention the intersect explosion or something. He's is gonna over here and bail. Hey, Sarah. Chuck. What is it? We have to call off the date the intersect was destroyed. What? But the cipher. It was a Trojan horse sabotage device. The moment it came online, it exploded. That means you're still the only edge or sect. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
he agreed to eat 90. 90? Yeah. Nobody can eat 90 Twinkies. That's what I said, dude. He may die, or, or at least do extreme damage to several major organs. This I have to see. Oh. Well, hey, Casey. 90 Twinkies in three minutes. Be there. Jeff might die! <laughs> he, he heard death and he's like, what? Oh. Let's go. <clears throat> um, where's that guy? Um, all right, well, that was episode number one of season number two. That was a really solid, good episode, right? Like, I'm not crazy. That, like, I think it established everything. It established the stakes. I mean, Casey, the whole dilemma with Casey, the the moment, like, the villain was pretty good. I mean, the transitions with Chuck, thinking he's, like, going to be free, to then he's not going to be free, and... I enjoyed the episode. I think I'm going to give the episode like an eight. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Um, let's break down the episode, see what we could got here. So the episode starts off with like one of the most perfect recaps or starting points for a show. Like, like, let's see how it says. It's, it's an this is, this is the beginning of this episode for like the first like five, five minutes or so felt like it could have been the first episode you've ever seen of Chuck. It told everything who they were. It established all the characters. Or not established. I mean, it established them pretty well. Um, it did it in a really, really good way. The banter was good. Them saving. You knew who everybody. Like, you knew who everybody was. Who Like, their characteristics in those brief seconds. I thought it was a really, really good starting point. I mean, it was only, like, what, a couple minutes here? Like, two or three minutes. Not two minutes only. But I think it like it was a really good start to the episode. It got give you a nice recap, but I'll give you a recap. I enjoyed it. Um, so we were we stole we took this from this guy, uh, Michael Clark Duncan, whose character his name is Colt. We stole the thing back from him. Um, it's essentially the piece that's gonna get the intersect going. Uh, but of course we know what happens when the intersect is fixed. Um, Chuck is gonna be excommunicado. Uh, we have some um, nice flirting with Chuck and Sarah about what they're going to do after. And Sarah saying, Chuck, you can be more, so much more than the buy more. And, you know, Chuck kind of like buying it, believing it. Uh, then we have uh, the song, The Morning, Chuck talking about his future, which, of course, um, Ellie just loves. I'm Devin. Is the book. Uh, Ellie just loves. She's all about. She wants to get him off out of the buy more. She wants him to have a future, do something with his life. He mentions that you ever meet somebody that kind of puts you in that path. Essentially, you know, speaking of, of Sarah, of course. Uh, we then head over to the buy more. Um, Call of Duty is being established. I, I do like the call, like the way that they brought this around later when Chuck needed it. But the way that Morgan described it, I'm pretty positive that's not how Call of Duty works. I don't know which Modern Warfare this is or which Call of Duty this is, but I'm pretty positive that's not how it works. He made it seem like there was a lot of players and Call of Duty is like, what, six players? Maybe back then it was eight on eight. I don't remember. Uh, they, need to pick, they need to pick a manager. Um, Chuck doesn't want it. So the, he has to decide who's going to get it. So everybody's kind of getting their resume. Uh, we find out later Morgan doesn't want it. The Wienerlicious is no more. And now um, Sarah works at a yogurt shop. <laughs> so that is uh, something very interesting. Um, um, Sarah works at a yogurt shop. Very adorable, very cute. Looks amazing in orange. Um, Chuck asks her on a date. He's not scared. He flat out just says it. Will you go on a date with me? Does everything well. Um, of establishing the date she agrees he gives like some good good reasons for why she should accept the date uh, I thought it was good She uh, he told her no guns on a first date or did he say no guns I think he was said no guns or no shooting or something along those lines Um, let's see we Chuck is saying he's growing up Morgan comes over with the plans for Call of Duty the guy comes to pick up the piece for of the intersect I don't know what this is. So is this that uh, powder that people were putting in like the mail? And then when you order it, it would like, what's it called? I'm doing A. 
I'm trying to blank on it right now. But yeah, whatever it did to Casey fucked him up. Um, we had a nice little date, really cute date, actual proper date. It felt like a realistic date. You know, the guy was flirting with the girl, like complimenting the girl. She like, it was just a really, really good date. I really liked their date. It felt real. Uh, then Chuck flashes and he's like, fuck, we're surrounded. We get this whole scene where Ch Casey's bleeding from the mouth, uh, bleeding all over his chest. I mean, it's bad. But he has like the safety thing where he can pull water, needle, really, really good scene. Chuck flashes, the bad guy shows up. Casey just drives the truck in. Um, he gets punched by the guy. We find out that the, I mean, they, everybody else finds out that the intersect piece of uh, the cipher was stolen. Chuck is not happy. He's like, I thought I was over this bullshit. So the next morning, it's Huey Lewis again. But a very different tone. Just not happy. We have some funny band moments with the, with the meeting, uh, with the interviews. I thought they worked really well. You got to know how weird these characters are. I mean, Lester, Jeff, Anna. Is it Anna? 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 Morgan doesn't want the job. It's crazy that there's only four people or that can possibly have this job. Uh, Chuck flashes on the ring. Casey in this moment kind of give you implications that he doesn't want to find the cipher. He doesn't want the intersect to be to be essentially fixed because he knows what he has to do, which I thought like that was a good thing. Kind of Casey having to like wrestle with his own morals and ideas of what exactly he is the right thing to do here. Uh, we then have Morgan in charge. He decides to do a weird version of Fight Club. Whoever wins gets a uh, the job. Chuck flashed on the thing, told them where they were going uh, because of the ring. They get there. So Chuck just flashed on a whole like a wrong place completely. Or was it what Sarah said that they're late? Because Chuck does go to a place uh, where they with the um nerd herd for a computer fix which i'm shocked that casey and sarah let him do this um but because you know like stuff like this constantly happens so this was a really i thought this whole thing was really good when chuck decides to be a charles carmichael uh gives uh, the whole reasoning about what's going to happen talks about like all these you're surrounded snipers i i thought the call back to call morgan was really really good as well Calls Morgan. Morgan gives the entire play-by-play -play of Call of Duty. They all freak out. And what does some Colt say? He's either lying or he's crazy. Whatever, something like that. I thought this uh, scream here when Chuck gets thrown here, I thought Sarah's scream was really good. To be honest, I'm a drop. See, this, this is what I'm talking I want to see. If he's like, it's not worth it or something. It ain't worth it. Her scream is really good. But that's a really good scream. I mean, Casey catches him as a bit fake and corny, but whatever. Casey catches him, saves him. Chuck comes in very cocky with the whole my friends, all that stuff. Casey talks about that maybe we you know we don't kill Chuck, we leave Chuck alive. He's been good to our country. They can't trust Chuck with all the other information, so Casey has his orders. Chuck is cooking dinner while that's happening. The intersect is Going down, Casey's sneaking in to go kill Chuck. He was really going to put a bullet in Chuck's head, man. What kind of messed up shit is that, dude? Dirty ass government bullshit. Um, let us see. We then get the intersect happening. So I thought the intersect was just going to be a machine. I didn't know they were making how many, like six other Chucks. I thought it was just going to be the machine. But it's not. They make six other Chucks. They're trying to. It doesn't work. Fulcrum got to it. So Fulcrum's going to be the big bad of the season. Isn't that where Bryce is? Isn't Bryce out in the cover over there? I wonder if we'll, we'll see Bryce again. Um. Yeah, so the intersect. Chuck is still the intersect. Casey doesn't have to kill him. That's going to be interesting. Uh, and Chuck has to understand this is his life. He was going to have a proper date with Sarah. Couldn't happen. And now this is just Chuck's life. Lester got the... Um, Lester got the manager gig. And Chuck's trying to find happiness in his, what he believes is a shitty life. Morgan comes about Twinkies with Jeff and everybody gets happy. And then we all just run and it's happy. Finding the little things, man. The little things in your everyday life that make you happy. 
is essentially what the moral of that is. But yeah, uh, that's the reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon, full uncut, unedited reaction. You can get episodes extra early if you want them. If you don't want them, that's perfectly fine. You'll get episodes here when they come here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.